Hi, quick tip from Ask Chef Tony. A lot of people are intimidated on making their own salad dressing. Many people I know have the bottle somewhere hidden in the cupboard or in the refrigerator. You know, you look at the ingredients, there is a million things in here. You know what I think of this? Problem solved. We're gonna make our own dressing. How simple, and you're gonna even save money. Here what you do. Little salt. Remember we're making a batch that we're gonna have in a bottle. We're going to use and keep it handy what we're going to use whenever we need. By the way, this kind of uh, dressing does not need refrigeration because there is nothing that can spoil. Actually, if anything, vinegars preserve. So we got salt and pepper. I like to mix my vinegars. Skipping all the other ingredients, uh, can you, you cannot even pronounce the name. So we have red wine vinegar. Just natural red wine vinegar. We have white wine vinegar. Why do I mix? Because I like to have different level of taste in there. A little balsamic. Now here I have a balsamic glaze. It's very thick reduction of balsamic and it's infused with figs from Italy. So we're gonna put a couple of squirt of that in there. And at this point, if you like, if you prefer a little citrus taste, you could put a little rind of the lemon in there. It's totally optional. This is what you have. You grab your olive oil. That's another thing. In those bottles, I can assure you, even if it says olive oil, it's so minimal because there, there is a mixture of oil from other plants, whatever. This is 100% good olive oil, just like we always uh, suggest. We're gonna drizzle it. It's very easy, anybody can do it. And you only have to do this once, depending on how much you use. You do this once a week, it's enough for you. You can do it in a big batch and have it enough for a month. Now, I have this fancy whisk, but it doesn't have to be anything like it. any whisk. You can even do it with a fork. It just takes you a little longer. You look. The first couple of times might take you the measurement. The first time you say, you know, a couple of tablespoons of this, a couple of tablespoons of that. It's really what you like. That's another thing. You do it this way, you do it to your taste. I like more vinegar, I like more olive oil, I like more salt or more paper or less. You do it once you, and I suggest you take notes every time you make it. And once you achieve the perfect level of acidity and olive oil and everything else, then from there on, you take a note on a little pad. I, I do a little sticky notes. I put it inside of the, the door, the cabinet door. And I refer to it when, uh, when I have to make it next time. You want to taste it? Now, we got our nice handy bottle. You can buy those around your specialty store or um, even supermarkets now carry these different size, etc. We go. Cap on. Every time you serve, a little shake as you're dressing. I can assure you. Focusing on quality, I, it, you saved money. You have quality, it tastes way better, and you know that there is no alien ingredient in here. Va bene. <laughs>